1938, during the build-up to World War II, Germany annexed Austria in an event known as the Anschluss. But why did they do this? Hey, historians, Welcome back to the Wine History. I'm your host, Alexander. From the early Middle Ages, most of what is now Austria was part of the Holy Roman Empire, a loose collection of Germanic states and entities. When the Holy Roman Empire dissolved in 1806, Austria was the most powerful German state, but Prussia, another one of the German states, was a close second. This was solidified in the 1815 Congress of Vienna, when the German Confederation, which encompassed most of the Holy Roman Empire's former territory, including parts of Austria and Prussia, was established. Essentially, the German Confederation was just the Holy Roman Empire, but it had a few differences. Most notably, it gave Austria the most power by making it the chair of the Federal Convention, which passed the laws. However, for a law to pass, all member states needed to be in agreement. And because Austria and Prussia would frequently vote against each other, nothing would ever get done. In 1866, this disagreement reached a breaking point when Austria and Prussia couldn't agree on how two duchies the German Confederation had won from Denmark would be governed. Very quickly, the states of the German Confederation took sides. Most of the northern ones sided with Prussia, but the southern states, which were larger, sided with Austria, giving Austria control over more territory. Austria would have had the advantage, but Prussia's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Otto von Bismarck, negotiated an alliance with Italy shortly before the Austro-Prussian War began, meaning Austria now had to fight a two-front war. The war lasted a little over a month, and when it ended, there was a clear winner, Prussia. Following the Peace of Prague, the German Confederation was disbanded. In its place, the North German Confederation was created, but it left out most of the states that had sided with Austria during the war. In 1867, Austria elevated Hungary, which it controlled as part of its empire, to the same status Austria had, becoming the dual monarchy of Austria-Hungary. Four years later, all the German states came together and created the German Empire. Well, almost all of them, as Austria was left out. Austria-Hungary had its differences with Germany and Italy. However, they all set that aside and formed the Triple Alliance. Three decades later, World War I came around, and after Italy betrayed the alliance and switched sides, both Austria and Germany fought alongside each other until the end of the war in 1918. After the war, Austria-Hungary was dissolved, leaving Austria with a fraction of its former land. Austria was now alone, and the treaty that ended World War I, the Treaty of Versailles, explicitly said that Austria could never be a part of Germany. So what happened? Well, when Adolf Hitler, an Austrian, rose to power in Germany during the early 1930s, the Treaty of Versailles stopped being enforced. Hitler believed that all German people should live in one country, but instead of inviting all Germans to move into Germany, he decided it would be a better idea to invade all of his neighbors. At the time, any form of unification with Germany was wildly unpopular with Austrians. In 1936, Austria signed an agreement with Germany, which stated that Germany would not annex Austria, and in exchange, Austria would allow Hitler's allies to run for government office. Additionally, Austria would always need to adhere to German foreign policy. As Germany was arming itself, it realized it needed natural resources, and conveniently, Austria had a lot of those, especially iron. For Hitler, annexing Austria, a country full of Germans, wouldn't just fulfill his crazy fantasies of a united German state, it would also benefit him in his war efforts. When Austria's chancellor, Kurt Schnuschnigg, realized Hitler still wanted to annex his country, he planned a referendum on the unification with Germany, though I'm not sure why he thought that Hitler would listen to the will of the people. On March 12, 1938, a day before the referendum was supposed to take place, Germany invaded Austria in what became known as the Anschluss. Because Britain and France didn't object to this, it only took a day for Austria to be fully under German control. The following month, a new referendum was held to show that Austrians agreed with the Anschluss, and even though it's widely believed that no more than a third of Austrians supported being incorporated into Germany, the results showed almost 100% in favor. The Anschluss wouldn't be reversed until the end of World War II in 1945, and during Austria's period under German rule, tens of thousands of Jews, Roma, and others would perish in the Holocaust. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Also, if you have any questions you want me to answer, leave them for me in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.